Worried that you missed out on all the exciting drama from the last week of April? Rest easy, because Paul's Weekly Recap, day for you. I am La Yemi Fearless. Let's get to the tea, shall we? <laughs> Yul Adoche welcomed the son with his second wife. Nollywood actor Yul Adoche caused a stay on social media on Wednesday, April 27, 2022, following the announcement of his second marriage to fellow movie star Judy Austin Mohalu. The movie star also revealed that he has welcomed the son with Mohalu. Reacting to the post, Yul's first wife of 17 years, May Yul Adoche, took to the comment section of her husband's post where she wrote, May God judge you both. Adoche went on to share a post on Thursday where he referred to himself as a real man for his decision to disclose his new marriage to the public. I have gotten over my last heartbreak and open to a new relationship. Nkechi Blessing advised her followers not to give up on love. On Monday, April 25, 2022, Nigerian actress Nkechi Blessing Sunday took to her Instagram page to advise her followers to never give up on finding love. She wrote, Regardless of what goes down amidst plenty of chaos, do not forget love is a beautiful thing. I have so much love in me that I am never afraid to fall in love. It should be recalled that only a few weeks ago, the actress was involved in a messy breakup with her estranged partner, Okbayemi Falegon. Minister of Education purchased 100 million Naira APC presidential form amidst ASU strike. Chukwemeka Wajuba, Minister of State for Education, on Wednesday, April 27, 2022, in Abuja, purchased the ruling All Progressives Congress APC's nomination and declaration of interest forms for the 2023 presidential election. His entrance into the presidential race came just as the nation marked 72 days since the recent Academic Staff Union of Universities ASU strike commenced. Bovi revealed why he was banned from the United States of America. While entertaining questions from his fans on Tuesday, April 27, 2022, Nigerian comedian Bovi Ugboma revealed that he has been banned from entering the United States of America. According to Bovi, the ban followed an ego clash with a visa issuing officer. He wrote, Ill luck, met a charity like issuing visa officer, egos clashed, I got labeled. Femi Falano revealed why Good Luck Jonathan cannot join the presidential race. Senior advocate of Nigeria Femi Falano has revealed that former president Good Luck Jonathan cannot run for president in 2023. Although Jonathan is yet to declare his interest in the presidency, several groups have asked him to run for president over the past few months. However, on Thursday, April 28, 2022, Falano referenced the part of the Nigerian constitution that disqualifies the former president from vying for the presidency due to his previous time in office. And it's a wrap guys. Don't stop viewing, liking and sharing our content. Until next time, enjoy the holidays. <laughs>